tan inverse of root 3 minus secant inverse of minus 2 is equal to so let us consider tan inverse of root 3 is equal to alpha and secant inverse of minus 2 is equal to beta so as per the principal range alpha must belongs to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and here beta belongs to 0 to pi and beta should not be equal to pi by 2 so we can write here tan alpha is equal to root 3 and secant beta is equal to minus 2 so tan alpha is equal to root 3 which is positive so in minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is a fourth first quadrant and the fourth quadrant in first quadrant tan is positive and in fourth quadrant tan is negative so positive means we can consider the first quadrant so we can write so tan alpha is equal to tan pi by 3 because tan 60 degrees is root 3 so we can write alpha is equal to pi by 3 that is tan inverse of tan inverse of root 3 is equal to pi by 3 and here secant beta is equal to negative 2 which is less than 0 and we know that in 0 to pi first quadrant and fourth quadrant sorry second quadrant and here beta is not equal to pi by 2 and now secant is negative so we can consider in the second quadrant so we can write secant beta is equal to minus 2 or we can write secant beta is equal to secant of pi minus pi by 3 since we know that secant 60 degrees secant pi by 3 is 2 so we can write it is below pi so pi minus pi by 3 we can consider so beta is equal to pi minus pi by 3 that is 2 pi by 3 so we can write secant inverse of negative 2 is equal to 2 pi by 3 so therefore tan inverse of root 3 minus secant inverse of negative 2 is equal to pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3 so which comes here minus pi by 3 so minus pi by 3 is the answer so which is our option b so option b is the answer